Well, the tributes for Kobe Bryant and his daughter Gianna continue. CBS 2's Jake Reiner shows us how several publications are commemorating Kobe and his career. You can get anything online these days, but folks sometimes want their stuff right away, like their Kobe Bryant commemorative issue. So they'll actually leave their house, get in their car, and travel all the way to an old fashioned newsstand. Which one did you get? I got all of them. All of them? <laughs> I got a, oh, all of them. All, a, 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 I'm about all five. Sheila Calvert yeah, clearly wanted to remember got. Kobe Bryant in a number of different ways from a number of different perspectives. I got People, I got ESPN, I have Los Angeles Times, and Forever Mom. From the glory of winning five NBA championships with the Lakers to the controversial, like his sexual assault allegations, Different publications like the ones Sheila mentioned, including Sports Illustrated, each chronicled Kobe's life in pictures and stories. And this is all we have. I have Prince's book. I have some more people's books, you know, when they die. But just to be able to look at the pictures. Paul Levine owns the newsstand on Laurel Canyon Boulevard in Studio City. He says last night there was a line from the register to the corner. I think they're, they're coming by because they want, they want a piece of history and it, it helps them heal. Gianna Prime. Most of our school knew her as Gigi. Kobe's daughter Gianna was also honored in a special way. Her mother Vanessa documented it on Instagram. Gianna's jersey, number two, was retired at Harbor Day Middle School yesterday. Gianna was a warrior who gave 110% every time she stepped on the floor. She had that Mamba mentality. Many believe Mamba and his mentality will continue to live on in his and Gianna's legacy. Thank you all for having it on TV because I was sitting down having my cup of coffee and I said, oh my God, they're out and they're going to be gone. And Sheila Calvert's just glad she can hold on to that legacy in multiple bound commemorative copies. In Studio City, I'm Jake Reiner, CBS 2 News.